What's going on guys? My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to start to teach you how to create graphical user interfaces with Python. All right, welcome to the video. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to start to talk about graphical user interfaces with Python, specifically using Kinter or tkinter as it's, I guess, called. And that's a module that comes built in with Python that allows you to create GUIs, graphical user interfaces, relatively easy and very, very quickly. So we're going to start to look into that in this video, show you the very, very basics. This is going to be a series of videos so you can follow along and, uh, and learn all about it. So before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is pretty insane. Uh, <laughs> but check that out if you're interested. So let's get right into it. Like I said, Python comes built in with T Kinter or Kinter as some people call it. I'm probably going to call it Kinter. I kind of drop the T. It's silent. If I call it tkinter, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to assume you already have Python installed on your machine. Now this should work on Windows, Linux, or Mac. I'm on a Windows computer, so just sort of keep that in mind. But I'm going to assume you already have Python installed. If you don't, you can go find another video to install it. I'm going to assume you already sort of know how to use Python, so you can run a, a script and make it work uh, without me having to show you how to do that. So let's just jump right in here. Here I have the Sublime Text Editor. You can use absolutely any text editor that you want. I like Sublime, it's free, it's pretty cool. So I've just got an unsaved file open right now. So to start, we need to import Kinter. And it's really easy, we just go from lowercase t, k-i-n-t-e-r, t Kinter, and then we want to import everything, right? So right away, let's go ahead and save this file. Well, let's first view I want to say syntax. We want this to be Python. Okay, so it pops up. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to navigate to my C directory. You can save this anywhere you want, wherever you just, you'll remember it. I created this GUI, Geographical User Interface Directory, and this is where I'm going to save all this stuff. So let's just call this one hello and go ahead and save it. Okay, so it says hello.py. This is a Py file, Python file. Okay, so pretty straightforward. We're just going to import this module, tkinter, import everything. Now, this allows us to use everything in tkinter. There's some other ways you can in import this, but this is sort of the, the main way that you do it. And I'm not going to talk about any other ways because this is what you're going to want to use 99.9% .9 of the time. So in kinter, everything is a widget. There's button widgets, text widgets, frame widgets. Everything's a widget. And the first thing you create is sort of the root widget. It's think of it like the window, any graphical user interface program on your computer has like a window. If you're on a Windows machine, it's the Windows window. If you're on a Mac or Linux, it's the same kind of, you know, boxy window thing. So we need to create that before we do anything else. So we call it the root, it's the root widget. And we just set this equal to a T, K, and that's it. So this has to go first. This has to happen before anything else in your program when you're working with tkinter. So just right off the bat, just make it the first thing that you always do. So for the rest of this video, we're going to create just a very, very simple window, sort of a hello world window and, uh, and run it. So we want it to like say some text, right? And the text will just be whatever we want, hello world or whatever. So we need to create a label widget. Now throughout the course of this series, I'm going to talk about all the different widgets. We're going to talk about them all in great detail. Uh, and we'll get into that in the future. For this video, we're just going to use the label widget. I'm not going to talk about it in great depth because it's very simple. I might talk about it in more detail a little bit later on. But to create anything is, in Kinter is really a two-step process. You have to define the thing and create it. And then you have to put it up on the screen. So it's two steps always. So the first step, we're just going to create a label widget. So I'm just going to call this my label, labor. And then set this equal to, it's a label widget. So we have this label function, right? And then we want this to go in our root widget, right? And then for the text, we want it to go, hello world, if I could type correctly. 
right? And that's it. So we've now created a label, a label widget. Now we have to put that widget into our root widget, into our root window, right? So that's the two-step process that I was talking about. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can put things on the screen with tkinter. And the first one we're gonna look at is pack. We're just gonna pack it in there. And when you think of pack, think of just like packing. You're just shoving it in there at the first available spot, right? It's just sort of, it'll be the size that it is. It's very unsophisticated. We're just shoving it in there. And that's why I'm gonna use it for this video because we haven't learned anything else. Primarily, you're gonna use the other method to put stuff on the screen. And we'll talk about that later, um, probably in the next couple of videos. But for right now, we're just gonna pack this thing in there. So what we do is we take our widget, which is my label, and then dot pack. And that's it. So here we're creating a, let's just call it a text. Well, it's a label, we'll call it a label widget. And then here we are shoving it onto the screen, right? So that's it. So now the last thing we need to do is create an event loop. And what an event loop is, when you have a graphical user interface, when you have a program running, it's always looping constantly. And that's how it figures out what's going on. So as it's looping, you might move your mouse cursor, right? Since it's looping, it notices, oh, the mouse is here, now it's here, now it's here, now it's here, because it's continually looping. If you go to click a button, you know, it, it loops, it sees you moving towards that button as it's looping, looping, looping. So it's a constant loop. So you have to create that loop. And normally when a program ends is when that loop ends. You know, if you're familiar with programming of any kind, you're familiar with loops. They keep going until something happens, right? And in this case, they keep going until the program ends and then they end. So to do that, we want to create a root. This is our root widget. And then we want to call it main loop because this is the main loop of the program, right? And that's it. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, this is ridiculously simple. We've just created a graphical user interface, an actual program that will run and be visually, you know, cool. Well, it's not that cool. We'll see in a second here, but it works. And it's like, what is this? One, two, three, four, five lines of code. That's ridiculous. That's very, very simple. Now, granted, this is a very unsophisticated, easy program, but I think you can see right away how simple it is to use this. Tkinter is no more complicated than this. Right? If you have a bigger program that you want to create, sure, there's going to be more lines of code. But everything is a widget, and this is how easy it is to create a widget. You just define it and then pack it in there somehow. That's it. So it's not that hard to use this tkinter, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we got. I'm pulling up. I have this git bash terminal. Uh, I downloaded this. You can just Google git bash if you want to use this one. You absolutely don't. You can use any terminal that's on your computer or any way that you already used in the past to run Python programs. Windows has a command prompt. It has the PowerShell installed. You can use either of those. If you're on a Mac or Linux, you could use your regular terminal, whatever. So I'm going to change directory into C GUI. And just to make sure our hello file is there, it sure is. So let's just run this file. So I type in Python and then hello.py. Py and uh oh something happened object has no attribute main loop what did we do oh <laughs> uh, the L must be lowercase joey all right so go ahead and save this pull this back up again run it again and here we have it's on my other monitor so let me drag it over and there we have it let's put it up here so this is it. So let's pull our code back up as well. Okay, so here it says hello world because we typed right here, hello world. And this is the little tkinter icon, it's a favicon. We can change that and we'll talk about that later. You can see this program has a minimize button that works. It has a maximize button that works and an X button that works. So. When we click that, it ended automatically. So we can run this again just for fun. And let's pull this over. Now we can resize this and it kind of resizes things automatically. In the future video, I'm gonna show you how to explicitly resize it. So 
when you started it, it doesn't start small like this. But in this case, we use pack and pack says, you know, pack this in just as, as big as the stuff inside is. And our text widget is only, you know, what is this, 10, 12 characters. So it's only that big, the whole widget. It's only that big. So the window is only that big. Uh, pretty cool. So that's it. That's how easy it is. And check it out. I mean, this is a full on Windows window, right? Has all the things you would expect. You know, minimize, maximize, a little X. Very cool. And see this X right here. What you're doing when you're closing this window is you're disrupting this main loop, this root loop. And that causes the program to end. So we'll look at all this in more detail in the next few videos. In fact, in the next video, we'll start to look at some other widgets and uh, probably another method besides pack in order to arrange things on the screen. It gives you more options. Pack is good for simple things, but if you want more options, if you want more control over how things look and exactly where you can position things, you're going to want to use this other method. We'll start to look at that in the next video. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We'll be releasing videos in this series every couple of days or so. So subscribe to the channel so you get notified. Click, click that little bell thing at the bottom so that YouTube notifies you every time I, you know, put up a new video if you want to. And be sure to check out codemy.com where if you use coupon code YouTube at checkout, you get $22 off. So you get all of my courses. I've got almost 30 courses, hundreds of videos, over 50,000 students. It's really cool. Check it out. $27. I think you pay for all of my courses, one time fee. So if you like this video and want to see more like it and more videos in other programming languages and things, definitely check that out. So my name is John Elder from Codemy.com and we'll see you next time.